Hello, boys and girls. Today we're learning about compose figure. Finding volume when you have two figures to look at, okay? So our question that we're asking ourselves is, how can I find the volume of a rectangular prism or rectangular prisms that are combined if there's two of them? And I've included your Florida standard today because we have a celebration. This is our very last standard for fifth grade. And after this, we're going to go back and review all the stuff we've been doing so far. So this is exciting. So we've covered everything we've had to cover and didn't miss a beat this entire year. All right, so for the pre-assessment, I have a question for you and I'm going to show you in a second. Let me find it first before I move the camera. Here we go. And this is just to see how much you know. You probably don't know how to do it, or you may. What is the volume of this composite figure? Do you see that figure? It has two different rectangles kind of looking things. Is it A, 126 cubic centimeters? Is it B, 350 cubic centimeters? Is it C, 450 cubic centimeters? Or is it D, 476 cubic centimeters? I think we need to go back to that at the end when we're done learning how to do this, okay? In the meantime, let's go right back to what are uh, this the composed figures. Here's an example. In here, you have a house. And if you look at this house, you have a rectangular prism at the bottom and a triangular prism at the top. What would you have to do is do them both and then add them together to find the volume. If you look at this Jeep, you have a figure at the top and a different one at the bottom. You would have to find the volume at the bottom on the top and then add them together. Same thing happens with this particular Lego structure. You would, you're going to find in sixth grade, how to, they're gonna teach you how to do all kinds of different um, prisms, not just rectangular prisms. So I'll show you how to do, find volume for, for pyramids and cones and cylinders and other objects. But here in fifth grade, we're only finding how to, uh, the volume for rectangular prisms, okay? And we are going to see in here the first example that we have. I'm gonna show you right here. And I have, if you notice, um, this rectangular prism, I think I'm showing you the wrong one. Let me see, here, found it. Uh, you have to separate the figure into two, okay? So it's going to have to be the bottom one. Let's do the bottom one because I think it's easier. You have 10 for length, four for width, two for height. So you're gonna do um, 10 times four times two, which is equal to 80, right? Because 10 times four is 40 and 40 times two is 80. And then you're gonna do the top one. And the top one is gonna be four. How do I know it's four in the length? Because this length is four. This is going to be your width of two, because I gave it to you. But how do I know here that the height is four? Well, because I gotta subtract this two from here, because it's only that little rectangle at the top. So it's gonna be four times four, which is 16 times two, which is 32. And you take those two and you add them together, and your answer is 112 cubic inches, okay? Now I'm gonna show you a different example. Uh, let's see. On. I have this one. Look at it right there. And then for this, I have again two rectangular prisms. So let's do the first one here. Well, let's do whichever. So I have to figure out, I know already what my length, my width here is three centimeters and my height is two, right? But my length is longer than that because I'm going all the way. So it's gonna be eight plus three, which is 11. So I have 11 times three, which is 33, times two, which is 66. And that's where my 66 come from. Then I have here this one. I gotta cut it a little. 
out to make a second one. And I, I know my width here is three. The height is still two, so I'm gonna still use the two as the height. And then for this length, I gotta subtract that three from it. It's gonna be 10 minus three, which is seven. So here I have seven times two, which is 14, times three, which is going to be 42. Then I take those two and I add them together, and my answer is going to be 108 cubic centimeters, okay? Now, for the first example that I gave you, this one right here, let's go back to it. Your answer, if you chose D, 476 cubic centimeters, you did it correctly. Because that means you separated your rectangle at the bottom and you did 10 times 7 times 5. And then you did add it, the little rectangle at the top, okay? And you had to subtract the 3 from here and, well, here you have 3 centimeters. And then you have to do this one and this one, add them all together, and that would have given you 476 cubic centimeters. Okay, good luck. Now, for this standard practice, only do the word problems. Don't try to do the other ones because you might get confused and you don't need to get confused on that. This is not the time to be confused. Just do the word problems and good luck.